All right, friends. Ha! <laughs> Gator. We're in the, well, the basement of the, the camp. Uh, I had some, uh, well, especially maybe one or two comments about uh, I'm hitching, well, the stuff I carry around at the camp, I hitch it on the bucket. I found this is the best way and simple way to set up. This is the ball. And this is the hitch. The good thing is when you're not perfectly lined up, you just push this sideways like that and you can line up, but relevant of that. I'm going to show you how I built this. All it, all it involves, you need a three quarter wrench. I'm going to show you how I built this. Two parts to it. See this part? It's a, well, I hold it with my hand, breathing, line it up with the holes, put it in, put a washer, put a nut. I thought I could have a, a, a kind of a butterfly up here. Here it helped me from using a wrench. But anyways, but the important thing, okay, well, I'm gonna show you how it's built. It's hard for me, I'm not used to doing that. Showing people. Okay, the end here, See, the end here, I bring this, bring this in like that, and just, boom, right through, and see this here? Well, that's where I put, I just, I grab that like that, bring it in, line it up with the hole, and then I put the nut underneath. But, irrelevant of that, the key is this here part, right here, a big, big thick plate here and here my cutting edge fits right in here I had this spread a little bit over time but uh, it's well welded well welded <laughs> all this this is a eh? it's a block that you put in a hitch I just I can even take this stick it in my truck put the pin and use it <laughs> but it's got a plate underneath this plate that I welded, and watch, see, when I, I put it on here, I, I set it, just by the nature of the way it's built, it hangs on to the cutting edge, eh? So all I need is something to prevent it from going back. This part here will want to stay just the way it's built, where it is, and it doesn't need much to hold it from wanting to go back. All I have is a half inch bolt, coarse thread, but that's it. So this is what's involved into building this. It was uh, not a big invention. I was looking for a way, I was looking for a way, a way to make a hitch and not have a a big special rack that I built for the front. I don't like hitching something at the back, like when I'm, I'm driving my pontoon or whatever down the hill, or I even put the neighbor's uh, pontoon in the water here, because I'm the only around here, I'm the only one that has uh, the more or less a driveway down to the lake. <laughs> when I put his pontoon down, I mean, Make sure my bucket is well attached. <laughs> I don't know if you already seen this, depending on how I... No, you won't. <laughs> Stay tuned, you're going to see this the next one, <laughs> next video. But anyways, uh, it's a simple way to build it. It's small, and store this anywhere, and it's easy to a minute, and it's on there. And away you go, and there's... Uh, for anybody that hasn't tried that, for bringing or backing up or trailer as long as it's not a mile or two miles, there's just a short distance in the front. It's a lot easier than in the back. In the back when you're backing up, <coughs> it can be done. But uh, anyways, that's enough. <laughs> I spilled my guts enough for this morning. So I salute you all. Comments are appreciated. Thumbs up if you like it. If you don't, well, 
I can't say nothing for that. Leave a comment, tell me what you don't like. And uh, I don't know, comments and uh, I hope you stick in there. I know I haven't been doing a good job this summer there with <coughs> answering all the comments because uh, running out of time there. Jeez, I ain't gonna have to start to have now. <coughs> a night shift here. So, hey, okay, salute you all. See you in the next one.